astounding beer dog. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, you left a bunch in there. That's why. <sighs> wow. Still the bottle. There you go. Mission start. There, good girl. It's a good girl. Yes. Oh shit. Get y'all boozed up. You're going to sleep. Ah oh, shit, I'm having a bad day today. But anyway, where was I? Are you drunk? Drunk? You've been drinking? Yeah, no, like fucking. Occasionally, I just need some shit for me. You know? Like, you got that nice German Shepherd cage now, you gonna put it to some good use? What? Like, you got that nice German Shepherd cage now, you gonna put it to good use? Thought about it. It does fit a whole person. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not super into sadomasochism. Like, I'll do some of it, but not... The I don't cage, do sadomasochism. The cage thing's a little weird for me. Ah, sure. I like to do the counting game. Uh, which one's that? Uh, well, basically what it is is uh, right in the middle of sex, I'll just stop and I'll make her pick a number. She pick any number she wants. I don't have a constraint on what mm-hmm. the number is, and whatever number that she chooses, that's how many orgasms she has to have before I'll come in her. And uh, she hasn't figured it out, like because what, what do you mean? Just, so like, say she picks. Like you number. haven't told her exactly how it works. You just like stop in the middle of sex and like, I'm like okay, pick a, number. pick a number. Oh no no, she underst- She figures it out. After about the third orgasm, I'm still not coming. She's like, oh, okay. Um, so usually what it is, is like in, right in the middle, I'll be like, oh, fucking pick a number. Uh, uh, 15. Or, you know, like 8. So what it is, is that's the number that, that, that I have to reach before, um, before I'll come on her. But I make her count each individual orgasm until she gets to that number. Which is fun to realize, like, how much an orgasm fucks with their head. Because they, she starts forgetting num like she eats. She tries. Oh, you kidding me? She'll try to skip. She'll forget what number she's on. Like she just, it just fuck. So like, I turned into a game, and if she forgets what the number is, I start over again. Try it with your old lady. It's fun. Even before you have sex, just look at her and be like, "Hey, pick a number." <laughs> and when she goes, "Wait, why?" You go. That might be a little hard for me, actually. Why? Well, she's gonna have to pick a fucking high number. She can pick a high number. She just pick a number. No, I know, but what happens if she picks, like, okay, three? Or oh, she picks three, then... Then I'm happens. fucked. Or you can tell her to pick another number. Or just fucking, at that point, you look at her own. Oh, you, th- you know what? I should probably do, like, a whole, like, all right, yeah, pick a number between fucking, uh... Oh, yeah, uh, so you set your bar higher. Okay. Because hmm. more often than not, like, mine picks a number that's relatively high. So it usually works out for me. That, and I like to keep hers prolonged, so... More space, like less space in between, makes it difficult for her to count. Huh. Anywho, yeah, try this at home with your significant other uh, audience members. If you're taking, like your, anybody watching us has a fucking girlfriend. There might, there might be a handful. Uh huh. There might be some ladies out there who are lonely and need Milo. <laughs> yeah, but they usually pay for their dudes. <laughs> well, yeah. that's what mine was for, I guess. He'll do it for free. And he won't cry. Yeah, yeah but no, no they, 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 they pay for dudes because they find value in their male uh, oh. companion. <laughs> that was hurtful. It was. I'm sorry, yeah. Milo, I love you. He doesn't watch these either. I know he doesn't, but it, you know, in case he does, it's like, hey, new show. I don't even think Butters watches these. I'm no, sure Butters I, doesn't. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that watches them, and that's just because I have to review them. No, I watch them. Oh, like, I fucking, like, dropped off the fucking ball for a while. Everybody dropped off the ball. Well, I had shit in my life. No, like, I The other guys that. did. And that's why, I'm, that's why I'm not faulting you for not being part of the episodes. And for the most part, it seems like... I don't think anybody was upset about uh, me playing by myself. At least the game... At least it seems that way, but... You know. well, it's because nobody was watching. That's why nobody was upset. Ooh, funny guy. Yeah, I'm hilarious, man. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about that. Big claw. That 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 claw will just come in and fucking just wreck me from the top. Uh, so. I, I fucked up the tread, so he's only moving, like, two places now, so I can just keep hopping on, doing my thing. But right now, I just gotta watch my health. Which, I gotta watch my health. 
Oh. I had to buy that. Oh. That's why I was doing the junk shop earlier. Mm. Anyway, so it's just like, uh... Yeah, it's a fun game. It's fun. That and the bed we bought, uh... Relatively thick, so I'll, you know, run ropes underneath the mattress. Oh, you've gone, uh... You've, uh, stopped using the waterbed? We haven't had the waterbed since we moved to the new house. Yeah, why? Huh? Why? You just didn't want to transport it? Nah, I didn't want to fucking deal with it. It was, it was it was literally easier for me to buy a new bed, that and get a new bed so that we have more space, because the room, my bedroom is actually much larger than it used to be. Yeah. Um, but that's because I no longer have a bathroom in my bedroom. That's because you're actually living in the master bedroom now. Technically, uh, actually, I, you would, I would kind of consider that the guest. To be honest, one of these, I, like this one that's behind the TV, this room I would consider the master because it seems like it's the largest room besides this one that we're in. Because uh, my office is a little smaller than that, and then the guest room is the smallest. What we've labeled the guest room. But that's got a queen mattress in it, so fucking. There's plenty of space for people if they need to crash. Woo! Shit! It's fucked up. Damn it. Right anyway. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, everyone, if you fucking give a shit, I got my house. I don't think I've mentioned it in any of the other episodes. That's sad. What? Like, you, you've been planning about yourself for, like, this long, and, like, you haven't even mentioned, like, hey, new house. Because I've been trying to be entertaining. Nobody wants to hear about my fucking bullshit. I, yeah, my first world problems. Oh, guys, the house you're, I bought. Yeah, no, you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're trying to be entertaining and, uh, you know, play on oh, Let's Play channel. Yeah, well, it, trust me, I'm, I'm pretty much unoriginal when mm. it comes to Let's Plays. I mean, just like every other Let's Player, we're pretty much an un, un, we're an unoriginal bunch. Yeah, except for that one Swedish guy. That's because he he fucking pioneered it, but now he's become he's basically become the template. He's he's now what is considered norm or fucking unoriginal. Because the argument can be made that you know Let's Players don't don't put the same amount of effort because we don't have to we don't we're not spending three days filming. We're spending three hours. For fucking a week. Well, unless you're using like some proper editing with it. Well, even then, with proper editing, you're still looking at like if you if you work three hours, you can break that up into say say you take an hour out for editing reasons. Now that's two hours, and say you turn it into fifteen ep- like fifteen minute episodes. Now you've got eight episodes. Now you've got a week and a day's worth of episode for three hours of work. It's not re- like when you think about it, and like say like like Raka Raka, the five guys we like. Yeah. Months oh, in between. Yeah. yeah. Months. That's because they're doing way more work. Which, shout out to those Kiwis. Yeah, if you guys don't fucking know who Rocka Rock is, get that. Get your head out of your ass and go watch them for a while. Yeah, unsubscribe to us, subscribe to them, and then come back to us when you remember us in all year. Yeah, when when you're like, oh hey, that fucking Let's Play channel with a bunch of fucking Debbie dickheads. Let's go watch them. Yeah, they, they seem kind of entertaining. Yeah, they're alright. I mean, they're not, as, they're not as good as like Oni or fucking Game Grumps, but I mean, they're alright. I yeah. guess, I don't know. Well, well, at least I don't have to yell at that. Uh, I don't have to uh, yell at these guys to start making uh, cartoons instead of let's plays. Yeah, well, it's because we've never made cartoons. Exactly. We're really bad at that. I can't draw for shit. I just hate the animation process. It takes forever. How can I understand it? Takes yeah, that's why I don't fucking complain about uh, how long my videos take, take to come out. I actually had that fucking conversation with some uh, some fucking dude I met. Cause he was like, was like, we just happened to like like the same uh, cartoonist, uh-huh. and uh, like he goes like that guy needs to make some more uh, videos. Like, well, to be fair, like he's making plenty for like the the time space he has. Cause like he's got like a fucking four to six month gap between videos. That's not but he bad. makes fuck no, it's not bad, especially when you consider he makes like fucking twenty to thirty minute videos. Oh yeah, no, that's 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 holy shit, that's really good. Yeah, it is. Uh. And, like, he's got a full cast and everything, too. So, like, it's not just him doing the voice acting. Right. So he's got to pay those assholes, too, and then fucking everything there. Um, and I told him, it's was like, no, he's, he's got a lot of good quad right there, and I'd hate for him to fucking, you know... Try to rush. Yeah, he's like, like rush through that, like, just banging out every, like, fucking two weeks, and now I lose quality on it. Like, I'd prefer to get that right there. I was like, I just want the more videos, like... It's not the way animation then, works, Yeah. Man. Unless you're going to fucking... No, 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 no. that's the way how animation works, but then you get that cheap, terrible shit. Well, then you get fucking MS Paint fucking oh, God. animations. And that's, and that's why, I, um, I mean, before, 
before I was like, oh, fuck, they need to get their shit together. Fuck, takes forever to put animation. And then when I realized what it takes to put it... It's not like Family Guy. They don't have a fucking fleet of Vietnamese kids fucking drawing cells all day because that's how they make their fucking money so they can eat their bowl of rice at the end of the night. I, just, I don't know. I guess that's the other problem. It's like people compare apples to oranges where it's just like, oh, fucking Family Guy's able to do a whole series yeah, every team. year. It's like, they got a whole team. No, no, this guy's just got one animator. The only, the frame on for notes. I think the only other person that that or the only other team that I can think of that that you could make uh, an argument with is like the South Park team, who literally do their episodes in seven days. But they've got a special. They've got a program that's literally designed around them making episodes for South Park. Like that's that's all yeah, that that's program all they do. is for. So it's like, all right, that's. Different, but when they when they first came out, like it was a year's worth of time to be able to get the episodes they had. Because like, look at season one compared to now. Like they didn't have digital, they didn't have the digital thing. It was all cut and paste shit. Yeah. It was like frame by frame cells. I'm just I'm really glad that they South Park went the right way with it. Because originally when they first started out, it was that kind of like here's the story of the week. Uh, none of it's none of it really continues unless we say it continues. And now it's now it's got to be like this is the current event. And this is what makes it funny is the fact that you can relate to it because this is what's happening right now. And I think that's the problem that like most of the other animation shows have, like you know Family Guy's, uh, Simpsons, all those ones, is they don't get that op. They don't get to do current events. Because by the time they get the episode written and, and done and recorded and animated, it's a year's gone by. No, I think Simpsons got a lot better with that. It's still it's still a year in between. No, I'm pretty sure it's a week because I'm, I'm damn sure they've been doing some cartoons uh, going off about Trump recently. Well, if you're talking about the shorts, those are different. I don't think those are full Simpsons episodes. are doing shorts now? Yeah, I think like on fucking YouTube they were just like little five minute shorts. Hmm. So that takes way less time. Yeah, I guess there's some, I guess around there. I'm not positive, though. I don't really follow him anymore, because I stopped giving a well, shit. Yeah, I know. What ends up happening, you know, like, that, that was kind of the nice thing about the move, is now I no longer have to deal with cable television. Yeah, like, oh, you're just, you're just watching Netflix, fucking, you're stuck in that little bubble. It's like, yeah, I'm actually okay with this bubble. Yeah, and bubble shit I like. Yeah. And if you really want to branch out there, buy Hulu. Yeah. No, I like Hulu's neat, but I have uh, Amazon Prime, so that fills in some of the void. Like, a lot of USA shows end up on Prime, so that's, you know, if I need, to, if I have that moment where, like, I need to go to sleep, I'll turn on SVU. Yeah. I fall asleep to SVU. That's how fucked up I am. Ah, uh, she was raped and tied up, and then, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Well, on the bright side, at least you don't have it in the background while you're jerking off on the couch. Yeah, I, I guess that's the other, like, that's the worst possible thing, but falling asleep to it's pretty bad. I wouldn't say it's the worst possible thing. But that being said... Raping somebody to SVU? Would that be the worst I thing? I didn't say raping somebody to SVU. I mean, just watching, like, some normal por- porn. SVU's on the background. And you're just jacking it. That, well, see, but the thing is that you're, you're focusing on the porn. The SVU's just background. Noise. Yeah, I know, but to you know you're going to hear it. fapping. That's probably what it is. No, you got your headphones on, you're listening to porn. Nah, no you headphones. You've got SVU on, so your no neighbors headphones. don't know what you're fapping. In. Listen, no headphones. No headphones, just both no of it's headphones. blended together? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a little weird. Well, you're not watching, like, a porno video, like, just some stills. Oh, that's even weirder. Because <laughs> if anybody walks in, what? they think you're masturbating to SVU, not to the porn stills. So that's probably worse. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, no, if I can. But I guess the other side of it is, is SVU has that. So, it, at no point does it get loud in the episode. It's always kind of soft-spoken, quiet kind of thing. So it kind of it's in that kind of that ASMR category of soft-spoken. Uh, hushed tone. It's at no point do you hear like fucking somebody screaming. And when they do, you're usually asleep by that time anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Or I'm sorry, I'm asleep at that time. Some people would wake up to screaming. That just puts me right to sleep. <laughs> somebody help me, please! Oh yeah, there we you go. You should really get to call him that do- uh, dog pen. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is she just to, just to help you go to sleep. We'll just put a fucking pillow and a blanket in there, and then whatever the fuck else he likes. She seems like a box wine girl. Box one. <laughs> yeah, just put it right on the fucking top, so like the fucking uh, the spouse just right there, so she's gonna lick into it. Yeah, she's like she's a fucking gerbil. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little weird. And then just look at your uh, your work and then go, yeah, yeah. 
Because at that point in your sexual uh, pro- uh, in your sexual deviancy, you're fucking German. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're gonna ask to get out of the cage. <laughs> oh man. Sad little Lego dudes. Is that guy like fisting his butt? <laughs> Might have been. Also, that's not safe. You have a caution line for a reason. You're gonna get your legs cut off, you asshole. <laughs> He's a robot, he don't care. That's a cyborg. <laughs> 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 Oh, speaking of like shit you shouldn't be caring about, like uh, fucking social shit. I was watching. Uh, I took my wife to go see the uh, what was that movie called? Uh, the Disappointments Room. What? Uh, the Disappointments Room. The fuck is that? I uh, I saw the fucking trailer for it on uh, Hulu a while ago, and it was just fucking like blasting all over Hulu. Nice thing about the trailer though was like it showed none of the fucking, like, movie whatsoever. So I was like, ooh, I don't know what's going on in here. This seems new and interesting. Which, for, you know, for uh, for guys making trailers, do that with your trailer. Right. This way, this way I don't have to go like, oh, I just saw the fucking movie in a fucking trailer. You I don't want to... Every fucking Zack Snyder film ever made. Oh, God, that was bad. <laughs> oh, come on, it's fucking Superman versus Batman. It was really good. Uh, I didn't even see it. I saw the trailer and I knew exactly what happened. Like, it, He's the, a only pe- the only people that can find enjoyment in that movie are, like, dudes that take, like, their young nerd friends to go oh, watch it. Shit. Party Maybe foul. Clean up your mess. There you go. Yes. Eva is now more responsible than 75% of the cheerleaders I ever drank with. Yeah. They spilled my beer! You gotta finish it. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, the, uh... Anyway, like, all, all I'm seeing of uh, the thing is, like, there's this lady asking about this fucking, like, special room in the house, and then you see this, like, little fucking kid... What, is it, like, 50 Shades of Grey? I don't know. Like I, I don't know. It was like because like when I saw it, because like all, all you see is like after she uh, after you get the close up of the woman's face, you get to see like this spiral staircase. There's a girl running up it, and then this fucking door just slammed uh, closed. And like before you see the door slam closed, it's like a very tiny fucking room with one window, and you can clear like it's not ground level. Like so, like oh my god, like maybe this is one of those like the, like the, like this little inbred child, and like she's just trapped. In the fucking like one room, and like, the lady's not allowed, and the, the caretaker of the house is not allowed to uh, like have any contact with her. This would be some like some cool fucked up shit. Like, I want to watch this. Like, Wait, it looked is, awesome. Is that the mayor? Yes. Oh, I fucking it's a very progressive shit. city. <laughs> I make her scream out the fucking tax code, motherfucker. <laughs> Just because she seems like she's into it. Then anybody who makes over ten grand has to pay four point two percent. Small business owners qualifying for it. Uh, but, uh, well, but I anyway. think I just found my new fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mega Man. Aspiring <laughs> people everywhere. Good job. Get off my fucking beer, dog. Get out of here with that beer. shit. My beer. Thirsty. To get a daddy's beer. <laughs> but I'm thirsty. The, uh... Oh, get out of here. Okay. The I don't know the fucking... What the Italian say I've ever said this before. I don't know. Something whoppy. <laughs> it's Take okay. Take on that note. <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> uh, we do one more and then we'll meet you. Uh, let's do another one because I really cannot remember where to go after this. Okay. So, let me talk to the monkey. I'll fucking save. So, we're doing another one Oh, uh, we're just done, because like I said, I can't remember what the fuck to do, and I did not pay attention to those people. Alright. So I'll just let the recording go, and we'll just use this as a B-roll. Nah, okay. But, uh, anyway, where the fuck were we? Uh, well, other than discovering... You know, I'm gonna... Yeah, no, that, that, that disappointment, so I'm gonna talk about it fucking later. Because it goes on to some other shit. I'll try to remember. Oh, God. Whoo! Alright. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk to you, Roll. I'll just stop recording. Fucking sold on my fuck. Fucking sold on my fuck. Fucking sold on my fuck.